Hey guys, this is Keshav. So everyone experience when they go on a mountain and on a high place, they try to breathe very fast. It's because our body is going into a condition and that condition is known as hypoxia. So in this video, we will talk about hypoxia. There are types that is hypoxic, anemic, ischemic and histotoxic. And which type of hypoxia is related to this blue discoloration of skin that is cyanosis. Let's go. Now heavy now heavy now heavy now heavy everybody sing that shit. Understand these terms better first we should know the physiology. So we breathe in air. This will go into the lungs and it will go into the arterial blood and this will picked up by the hemoglobin and then it will go into the tissue. Then tissue will use this oxygen and form ATP and convert it into the carbon dioxide that is CO2. Then this CO2 will go into the blood go into the lungs and it will breathe out and this decrease of O2 at tissue level this is known as hypoxia and decrease of O2 in blood is known as hypoxemia there are four types of hypoxia we'll start with hypoxic hypoxia in hypoxic hypoxia there is a problem of O2 going into the blood vessels and it can be two cases either O2 is not here or there is a problem in gas exchange so first, if O2 is not in atmosphere, it can be if person is at high altitude or if a person is in closed room. And second, that is problem in gas exchange. It can be because of any lung pathology. It can be COPD. It can be pneumonia. It can be alveolitis. It can be pleuritis and many more. Now the next one is anemic hypoxia. In anemic hypoxia, O2 is normal. It can easily diffuse into the blood vessel. The problem is either RBC is not here or there is a decrease in hemoglobin. Because of this, O2 will not able to go into the tissue. And it can be in any anemia. It can be B12 deficiency. It can be iron deficiency. It can be hemolytic and any other anemia. Now the third one is ischemic hypoxia. In ischemic hypoxia, if there is any obstruction here, this RBC will not able to cross this area and this will cause decrease in O2 in tissue that cause hypoxia. And it can be because of any obstruction like any thrombosis. Or it can be because of there is a whole decrease in blood volume. If there is congestive heart failure, heart is not able to pump the blood, so there will be a decrease in blood volume. Next one is histotoxic. Here everything is normal. O2 is coming in, O2 is diffusing, RBC is normal, and O2 is going into the tissue. But the problem here lies in tissue. Tissue will not able to utilize that O2. And it can be if there is cyanide poisoning. Now the next thing, in which type of hypoxia cyanosis takes place? So cyanosis is blue discoloration of skin and mucous membrane because of increased deoxygenated hemoglobin. Means this is important. Hemoglobin without O2 is important. So in hypoxia, hemoglobin is normal, but O2 is decreased. So it satisfies this definition. So cyanosis is present and in case of anemic hemoglobin is absent O2 is normal for having cyanosis hemoglobin should be there so that it can be without O2 right here hemoglobin is not here so we cannot see cyanosis in anemic now comes the ischemic is difficult one here hemoglobin is also normal O2 is normal but still we see cyanosis is because there is increase of tissue consumption and what is tissue consumption we'll discuss so if this is a tissue and there's a blood vessel coming in and these are going out and there is obstruction here because of this obstruction the blood which is coming here blood velocity will decrease this will cause more blood 
will stain tissue so there is more time for consumption so tissue will consume more and that is tissue consumption increases and at the end when the blood is going out hemoglobin is still normal but o2 is less and this is the definition of cyanosis that's why we see cyanosis here and in histotoxic hemoglobin is normal o2 is normal tissue consumption is decreased so we cannot see hemoglobin without o2 because there is no tissue consumption so here cannot see cyanosis thank you